So now we'll start covering, we'll start getting into MySQL. And so the first thing we do, need to do is on your website through DreamHost, we need to set up a MySQL database. We have to have a database to store all this information on. So when you log into your site, on the left-hand side, under goodies, is MySQL databases. If I can make this a little bigger. MySQL databases here on the left. All right, so now we're at the MySQL databases. Let me... All right, so once we click on MySQL databases, this is the page that comes up. And I have a bunch of databases set up on, on my site because I used to create one for every, every user out there. But uh, for you, you probably don't have any of these down here. And we need to go through the steps of creating a, a host name for the server that we're going to access it with, and then the actual database itself. So the first thing you need to do is add a new host name. So we click on new host name. And if you have multiple <coughs> uh, domain names or subdomains, you could, you could run it. You, you could create a new MySQL dot cis1scc.com or whatever you want. You can call this whatever you want here. And it will create a domain name. Well, because you don't have more than one website. So you're going to have just the, uh, the, the first part of it. You don't have the server? Add a new host name? That was back one. Uh, well, what you see is down here. What you see is all the way down here. All right. For those that don't have these already, you're gonna you're gonna create. You're, you're basically getting this page, okay? And you're going to. I have used a host name because I've got a bunch of them. Uh, or we can create a new host name now by, uh, in my case, I would do this, and, and this is what you guys see. Uh, and you put some name of your database. This is the name of your database at some domain.com, whatever your domain is. All right, and that can even go to subdomains and things. So I can have, in your business, my, uh, DreamHost lets you have unlimited numbers of MySQL databases and unlimited domains, unlimited subdomains, etc. So when you start a new client here, you could start, give them their own domain name, make their own MySQL dot their domain name, uh, make your own subversion repository dot their domain name, all of these kind of things. All, uh, so every client would have all of this information. All right, so uh, I'm going to give mine, mine is going to be on Let's see, I'll do a new one just to match you guys. I'm going to call it cis230.cis1scc.com. The database name is, uh, has to be unique across the server, so they'd like you to put your domain name in front of your database name. So you might say uh, cis1scc.com. Uh, um, dot or yeah dot mysql do it backwards a little bit all right so that's the name of the database itself which you'll see in a minute and then uh, the name of your host is how we're going to get to that because it's running a server mysql is going to be running as a server process so we're going to be making web connections to the server itself to get and store our data. All right, then we, we access it by some user, and I'm going to put mine under uh, SCC Dave. Where do I have a guy here? D. Jones, I guess. I've got a bunch of users. You guys should only have one. And these users can be different. I can create a new user. These users can be different than your login to your to uh, DreamHost users. 
Okay, so I'm going to create a new user and I'm going to call it uh, Day, uh, SCC Dave and I'll give it a password and a comment this uh, lecture database. All right, and then we're going to say add a new database now. Uh, it doesn't have to be on a subdomain, no. Uh, I had an error here somewhere. You're already using that for a database, so... I can't use... Uh, looks like I can't use dots, so I could, I could just call it... Uh, I'm going to just call it lecture, CIS 230 lecture. I've got too many. That's why I need to delete all these suckers. You're already using this for a database or website. Uh, lecture. There, fine. Eventually, you'll get your database created here. Yay! All right. Now, this green line here, you need, to, you need to look at this. This is key information here. This one line that's in, uh, in italics, this is how you log into your website. And this is information you might want to copy and paste this into a, a PHP file because we're going to use this information to connect to the server from, my, from PHP. All right, so that's that's key information. All right, so I'm going to I'm going to save that off in my PHP file. I'm going to start a new new file called uh, MySQL and just put it in here as a comment just for now. And then we can actually get to the database by clicking on this link here. The CIS230lecture.cis1scc.com. And it's not ready yet. This is where we might have to wait some time. It might even be tomorrow uh, before that website is set up. Yeah, so it might, it might take a while. And that's for 30 people. Yeah, we all hit it at the same time. So, all right, so that's... Uh, that's it for now. I think we're going to have to wait and, and finish this tomorrow. But make sure you have created the database and make sure you can get to the server by tomorrow because that is going to launch a program called uh, PHP My Admin. PHP My Admin. And that's what, that's what we're going to use a lot to establish our tables and uh, we can add, we can look at our data in our tables, we can add fields and columns and all kinds of stuff. It's a standard across, yeah, a lot of web hosts use PHP MyAdmin. All right, any questions on that so far? Yours is up, huh? Great. Yeah, I'm sure. <laughs> yeah, mine's so I'm going to stop.